Okay, I don't really do that. No. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine for you guys. This has been a really highly requested video. The reason I haven't done it yet is because I've been trying out some new products and I wanted to make sure that they were things that I really loved and something that worked for me before I recommended it to you guys. Obviously these products aren't gonna work for everyone. Everyone's got different skin types, different problematic areas. I typically have quite dry skin. Sometimes I do get oily around the T-zone, like when I am wearing makeup for a full day, I will notice oiliness in those areas. But generally I do have really quite dry, sensitive skin. So today I wanna to touch on a few different areas of my skincare routine. I have a morning routine, I have a night routine, and then I have some things that I do sort of every other day that really help balance my skin. So we'll start with my morning routine. Basically every morning I will wash my face with cold water and then I will use a cleanser. So I use this one from Balance. It is a microdermal gentle cleanser. It's basically really good for hydration and anti-redness. I do have some discoloration on my skin, so a lot of these products are for brightening or evening out skin tone. This one in particular I really like. It's not too drying on my skin. After I use it, I don't get that really dry feeling, but it does make it feel tight but it definitely helps get rid of all of the oil and everything on my skin. So after I cleanse my face, I basically just go in with a moisturizer. Moisture is the essence of wetness. I like to use this serum. It is a Rapid C concentrate, which is basically another brightening sort of product, so it helps even out that skin tone again. And then I'll go in with my Olay moisturizer. This one does have SPF in it, which I think is really good. Banana boat. My mum has been using this like her whole life and she has amazing skin. So this is definitely something that is affordable, but also really good. So that's pretty much all for my morning routine. It is super basic. The nighttime definitely has a few more steps in it. But for the morning one, I would basically just put on a primer and then do my makeup. And now you're ready for a night on the town. And that's all. So moving on to the nighttime routine, I would start by removing my makeup. And I normally would use like a micellar water or something like that, but I have been trying out this product lately, which is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. It's really good. You pretty much just put it on your hands, dry, rub it into your makeup, and everything just literally peels off your skin. It is amazing. Once all my makeup is removed, I'll go back in with my cleanser that I mentioned earlier. One thing I did forget to tell you guys is that I use a spin brush. So this one is from Vanity Planet. I'm sure you've seen every YouTuber <laughs> use this. It does come in a little box. Ooh, ooh. So it comes in this um, and it has different like heads that you can put on the brush. So there's an exfoliant one, an everyday one, and then the silicone one that you saw there. So I'll switch it up depending on how my skin is feeling. But generally for the cleanser, I will use the silicone brush just because it is quite gentle on your skin. Then I like to exfoliate my skin. As I said before, I do have really dry skin. So an exfoliant for me is quite important. I use two different ones. So I've got these ones from Lush. I love Lush products. I've been using them for years and years. My favorites are the Let the Good Times Roll and the Cup of Coffee. Basically, I'll use a cup of coffee maybe once a week when my skin is feeling really dry. Otherwise, I'll just use this one pretty much every day, maybe sometimes every second day, depending on how my skin's feeling. But again, I'll just use that like a little pea-sized amount. I'll put that on my spin brush and just really exfoliate it in for a few minutes and then wash that clean. So once I'm finished exfoliating, I will then go in with another moisturizer. So I have this one from Balance. It is another brightening moisturizer. It's called the Rebalance Moisturizer. So I love this one. I've been using it for a while. It's really, really nice. Another one that I have been using is the Mario Badescu Seaweed Night Cream. To be honest, I don't really know how I feel about this. I keep using it just because I'm not so good with night creams. Like if you guys can recommend any good night serums or creams, that would be amazing because I'm really just not educated in that. I swap between these two. I kind of lean more towards this one, but you know. Occasionally I will use an eye cream as well at night. So I've been using this one, which is the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. It's avocado! 
it's pretty good. I don't really know if it does anything to be honest, but again, I keep using it just because I have nothing else to use. And eye cream is not really my go-to sort of product. I definitely do have like a lot of discoloration and darkness around my eyes, but I just like to drink a lot of water to try and cancel that out, I suppose. If you guys do like any eye creams, please let me know, I'm always open to trying new things. Some new night products that I've been absolutely loving at the moment are these two from The Ordinary. One of my girlfriends got me onto these and they are skin saviors. My skin in the morning feels amazing after I use these. So I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing these, but this one is the Grand Active Retinoid Solution. And this one is the lactic acid solution. So I'll put this one on first and I sort of like push it into my skin. And then once that dries a little bit, I'll go in with this one and again, just sort of like dab it into my skin rather than like smearing it around. They are quite intense treatments. I do have sensitive skin, but they don't irritate my skin in any way, but you do sort of feel like a little tingling or burning sensation when you put it on, but it goes away pretty quickly. And as I said, I wake up the next day and my skin feels like a baby's butt. So in terms of skincare routine and products that I use, that's pretty much the basis of it. I don't really steer away from any of those products. Like I've been using most of them for quite a while now and they work well with my skin. They don't dry it out too much. So I just stick with it. Some other things that I do like to use are Treatments for spot pimples. I'm quite lucky in saying that I don't get breakouts, but occasionally, you know, we all get the, you know, occasional breakout. I love using the Mario Badescu drying solution. This really just gets rid of pimples. There's lots of them out on the market. I use this one, but they're all generally the same. You just dab it onto a pimple. I do it before bed and then I wake up and it's like minimized in size, reduces the redness, and I just find it to be really handy. Some other things that I love from Mario Badescu are their facial sprays. I use these pretty much every day. I'll just spritz my face whenever I feel like I need it. They're quite soothing and hydrating as well. So they're just another thing that I like to use every now and then. I'm a strong believer in that good skin comes from what you put in your body. So along with drinking a lot of water, there are some supplements that I like to use. And since I've started using them, I have found that my skin has cleared up a lot. I've been pretty lucky. I have never had you know, like horrible acne or anything like that. But I do get blind pimples under the skin. So my cheeks used to be covered in blind pimples, which doesn't sound bad, but when you put makeup on, especially highlighter over that area, you can really see them poking out. So these products I feel have really helped me to get rid of those and really nourish my skin from the inside out. And they are from The Beauty Chef. So I use the Glow Inner Inner Beauty Powder, and then I also use the Collagen Inner Beauty Boost. You can mix these both in with water, it's just like one teaspoon or something like that. I pretty much put them in a smoothie, I have them once or twice a day, but they are something that have definitely really helped clear my skin up and also really help to hydrate it. So that's pretty much all for my skincare routine, what I would do on a daily basis. As I said before, these products are ones that have worked for me. They may not necessarily work for you because everyone's skin type is different. But if you are interested in any of the products, I will leave all the links in the description box below. Also, if you guys have any recommendations for me on the night creams or night serums or eye creams, I would love that. So please leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Nighttime, we use the night serum and the eye cream and then also the serums as well. Oh, what's that? <laughs> my little mi- Oh, look how pretty she is. Say hello. Say hello. Angry girl.